My name is Solskjaer and today I'm going to show you another way, uh, well, another day, another update for the Google bypassing account. So this time I think it will be one of the latest one, but I'm not sure if there will be, uh, I guess that there is one more, most updated, you know, modification or bypassing process, but uh, let's try the, this one method. So for this case, you will need the PC your device, USB cable, and also some tools. So first of all, let's download the application which I showed you in my previous videos. So this will be real term. And number two, which is also as well right real term 2.0. So just uh, follow up, go next to SourceForge, then we just click download. And we just wait, stay tuned, <laughs> it will not take so long. Well, really sorry, I'm a little bit sick today, so I'm just, my voice isn't so bad, uh, isn't so good. Okay, so once it's finished, so you just click on the, you need to run the program. And afterwards it will install. Anyway, um, this method will not so differ from the previous one and I'm not sure if this will not be helpful so I will just delete this video. But anyway, do not forget to comment uh, and if you succeed or not succeed, uh, please tell me the reasons and maybe because in all the videos I just try to be helpful as much as possible. Okay, so once installed just untick show readme, just finish then you can just close the and you can see the, the new application on your desktop. Wow. Okay, so what we go do is better run by run as administrator. And we'll just click yes. Okay. The next thing what we're gonna do uh that was just to show how it's open, but anyway, let's just close it. Okay. What we see here is a new new software which was just factory reset and it needs to do some we need to do something in order to bypass this Google account. So let's just type in the Wi-Fi password. Oh even my hands are not so good. I'm not so aiming so good today my aiming skills are bad when I'm sick okay we just click next okay we just pass this just do not agree if possible to any these terms <laughs> because you never know what's what's inside those you know terms and Contract. So you see that device was reset to continue signing with the Google account that was previously since on this device. Well, that's really scary at first sight. But what do we have to do? We have to connect our device to our computer. In this case, we have a computer called Asus. Well. Okay, but let's. I had slight since method, which is not good one anymore. And since okay, so once we just connected our device, uh, our phone to the PC, so we just click real real term and just run it as administrator. It's very very important to run all the programs as administrator in order to. You know everything to be working you know fluently so the next thing we have to tick and have duplex and this is um, differently from the previous mod you know methods another thing we see a uh, port number three and we're gonna check what we have on our modem so in order to check that you just click this pc go properties and then you just try uh, click device manager 
then simply go to modems click double click that fastly and just click for for properties with a right click and then just click on the modem and there you see the truth and the number of your port is number three it's here okay so let's proceed the next step the next step will be to see if our port is the same as you can see it's totally the same because once you just plug in after your device you know after you plug in the uh, the USB to your computer and then afterwards you open the program so it will just uh, choose the correct port so the next thing we're gonna do is to s click send and we have a, here a field where we will have to put two commands so uh, but anyway first of all we need to do one important thing which is insert our sim card so let's do it so in order to do that i will have to insert a sim card and it's very important to insert the sim valid sim card with which you can call and also receive calls and it also must have a pin code and I'll explain you later on just just a second okay now we'll be putting that okay here we go and then we have to type in our pin code I guess I remember my own one <laughs> okay just click OK okay anyway still the same but that's good so what do we do next we just click on the um, information with the two codes so let's go get into our first code okay so here is the first code what we do next we just uh, send ACYY okay and we see a new popped out information okay so that's good that's good but nothing happens to your device yet so Okay, and our next step will be, you know, we are really, we will really be calling to the real phone number. So you will be able to talk even. So let's just, you see, this is the um, just second. This was just a copy, but uh, this code you must put on the same field that you put previously. So remember. This is how it should be, the second code. And you just send a C O I I double I. Okay. You see? It's calling. Okay, and we just Okay, so we just on the second we click on the browser just click on the Chrome just accept it's in Lithuanian but just thanks no okay so the next step we have to do we have to download some applications so first of them is a, a sh f uh, how to say fast shortcut maker just a second in fact, this is quick shortcut maker. Well, very relevant words. It's okay. We just go to Google and we just click. Uh, okay, it's not be able because it's in the Google Play. So we just need to download that from the, how to say, unofficial um, sources. Then just click download APK file. Okay. Okay, in a few seconds. Oh well. 
and you just click OK or good. So it's downloaded, but you will not able to see that. So what you need to do next, you have to get the Galaxy applications. So you write in Galaxy app. Well, simple way, Galaxy app. And you just go to the Samsung Galaxy apps website and you just scroll down okay and you see Samsung Galaxy app so you click on that and you just uh, agree and then you search for S file Okay, I found that, and you just download that. Okay, so now you will have to join in and put all your credentials. So I'm gonna put my own one. By the way, if you don't have a Samsung, so you will need to uh, create a new one with uh, on the previous table that I showed you. So what we do, we just confirm we accept all the terms without any reading just accept well it's in Lithuanian language my own my own language so but I hope you you will understand so you just click open okay so okay just click download this is where our application was downloaded so let's and then on the settings you just click and then you will see uh, unknown sources unknown application so you have to click that and just let it all the time to be downloaded so just click yes and you, you then it, it will pop up the you know the installation process so just click uh, install and then open afterwards you will need to find Google account Okay, just click search Not found, okay Well, 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 it's in Lithuanian language, but what you will have to find is Google account and when you click on the Google account so you will have to search and find a very important program uh, which is called here just a second okay google account manager and then on the google account manager you will have to find uh, to type in the email address and the password so in my case, this is Google Account uh, Manager. So it's written that you will have to put your email address and the password. So just um, think there is only show error activity. In them. But uh, I can assure you that some people are getting errors, but you just need to try some other, I don't know, um, of these things. So just click on this where you will need to put your email address and the password. Okay, so we just click here and then we click try. And try. And then we will have to click on the bottom of the page and just join. Accept. Then we when then we just uh, click our own credential okay so now it's uh, finished and what you have to do you have to just restore restore to your device so restored and i'm really i really apologize for the language barrier i mean i could have uh, thought before and just um, you know make language 
make language in English. But well, I just hope my English is good enough to understand, so you will be able to to understand and follow my steps. So let's just wait until our device boots up. Okay, so well, we, and again, we need to click on the pin code. Click OK. Okay, let's choose let when oh no 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 let's choose English language maybe espanol click next once our Wi-Fi is ready is here so checking connection all the other stuff so well this process is not so hard, you just need to, and you can see that the account has been added. Your first uh, account is ready for use, you can add and remove accounts later in the settings. So, see it's not so hard, and also, let's do not back up, because it can take time, but anyway you can do whatever you want. It's real great that it, you know, gives you a possibility to to use you know backing up your device from the previous dates okay just click later we don't pick up just pass easy mode set them complete and oh my god oh my god oh my god that's it really we have passed our bypass so um, i hope for some of you you know guys it really will be helpful but anyway um, if you like the video and my description so please like and also share this video on the media share my channel and sub do not forget to subscribe I'm gonna show you and update you with the new methods and uh, I hope that you will have a good day so that thanks for watching and um, I wish you a good evening or maybe it's morning time in the USA or just America, you know, yeah, so thank you, peace out. <laughs>